crap, y'all. Crazy.
scavengers take a look at our river loot we definitely got some uh, awesomeness most deaf over here we're gonna just start off this our sunglass department we got some ray-bans up in here i think those are about the nicest the ray-bans and the oakley's got a few of those for the most part they look like they're you know just kind of cheap or whatever but i love cheap glasses most of these are in pretty decent shape so i got me a ton of glasses to last me a lifetime here over yonder back here we got some uh goggles the big goggles we got the little swimmer goggles got a little water spray gun over here some bungee cords uh some containers right here these can be scrapped out if we don't use them this is a nice yeti coffee mug this is a yeti mug here too these are stainless but these are worth cleaning up and keeping or, or reselling or you know whatever you do with that kind of stuff up front here our interestingness we have all of our lighters most of them are in pretty decent shape a couple of them aren't all that great but the thing with lighters is uh when they uh when they when they dry out they work again so we have a lot of lighters right here got us a stick of cheese a guitar pick some carabiner hooks right over here these are uh, all the uh the vapes that i pulled out of the river i'm not into vaping i don't vape only reason i pulled these out is because all these have like batteries in them and those are really bad for the river but just look at that that's insane that's a ton of vaporizers back over here we got a couple of fireballs and a uh kinky red we did have a uh a 99 bananas and a coconut rum but i don't know what happened to it it may have just kind of floated out of the bag they didn't make it home with me so but this over here not into drinking just grab these you know so the little kiddos don't grab them and start drinking fireball you know have six-year-olds drunk on the river over here our speaker department check this out y'all the JBL powers up and it powers down. One of these actually works. I don't think it's that one. Yeah, this one turns on. This one does it. I'm gonna let this one dry out a little bit more and then uh, we'll charge it and see if it comes on. But these two speakers right here work. All right, we got some tchotchkiness over here. Somebody had a bad day, lost their car keys. Got some bracelets over here, friendship bracelets for life. Justice bracelets. Gold chain, but it's actually like, it's plastic. It's not a real gold chain. This this too, this is like a, a costume jewelry. This ring right here, it's a wedding band. It's stainless steel. There's no engraving or anything in it. But it actually fits me, huh? Uh, this is one of those little rubber wedding rings if uh, you work in a, uh, a type of business or lift weights and stuff and that don't allow you to wear metal rings, these rubber rings. This is the uh, highlight of the trip for sure. This is a Texas Tech University class ring. Uh, there actually is a name inscribed on the inside of it, and I looked the guy up. I Googled his name and typed in Texas Tech. Sure enough, he popped up on LinkedIn. So I've got his information. I'm going to reach out to him and let him know I have his ring. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get a little bit of a uh, finder's fee or a uh, reward for finding it. That's pretty cool. This little cat right here, I still can't quite figure out what it is. It's not magnetic. There's no stamp on here, number to indicate silver or anything. So it's, I'm guessing, I don't know, those look like little chips. This could be a legit piece of jewelry, but there's no markings on it whatsoever. And the little hasp says, I think GLO or GLD, I don't know. So I'll do a little bit more research on that. Unfortunately, there's no information to lead this back to the owner, so I'm just gonna hang on to that myself. Let's see over here, some more costume jewelry. Picked up some earrings. You never know. Sometimes you could find some decent ones, some silver ones, maybe some gold ones. I don't think these are either. Or same thing. That's so not a diamond. As much as that would be cool, it's not a diamond. 
A little bit of cash, $21.26. Then we got a bunch of iPhones. Let's see, there's an iPhone, iPhone. One of these is a Samsung. And then the rest of them are iPhones. A couple of them actually were on when we found them in the water. And I just went ahead and powered them down because a few years ago, I actually found a working iPhone in the river and I got down the river and when I got out, you know, unloaded my bag in my truck, went back up the river, came back down the river. A couple hours later, I'm walking up to my truck and I hear this phone pinging and it's in, you know, it's in my truck. And then I'm looking at the phone and there's like these messages on there talking about calling the police and stealing someone's phone. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. So yeah, I just turned these off. And then when I get a second, I'm gonna sit down at the computer, turn them on, ones that come on, see if anything starts pinging. Some of the iPhones you can ask. She just had a bath today. Anyways, I heard with the iPhones, you can actually turn it on and if they have it set up, you can ask Siri, hey Siri, whose iPhone is this? And it'll give you the information of the person. So uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get those back to whoever they belong to, the ones that were flooded. We'll see what we can do, but you know what, you know how it is, bag of rice, that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Not too shabby, tons of free stuff. Free crap, love scavenging in the river. But anyway, scavengers, thank y'all so much for tuning in on this river scavenging extravaganza. It was definitely good for me. I hope it was good for y'all. Uh, anyways, we'll get this all cleaned up. I'll let you guys know what we find out on the uh, cell phones and jewelry here in the uh, upcoming videos. But uh, yep, Dodster is ready for some scrap. So oh, let's go do it. See you on that next one. Peace. What we got here, y'all? Scrappy, scrap, scrap. scrap. Oh!